Shalom, my dear friends. This is William Hall from Beit HaMitzvot. Be sure to visit our website, BeitHaMitzvot.com, B-E-I-T-H-A-M-I-T-Z-V-O-T.com. Uh, listen, I want to show you something that is very, very critical to all of us in understanding who Yeshua, Jesus. Again, I don't want to confuse the two. I understand there's a clear difference, but my focal point here is describing who he is, who Yeshua is, who he was supposed to be based on the text of the New Testament. Okay? So, uh, for the purpose of, just for my own sanity and for my own contentment, I will start using Yeshua from here on out instead of Jesus, um, just for the sake of my own desire. Okay? So, now, here we go. What I want to introduce to you are the major key players in the scene of our world today. Starting here, we have three major players. The main player is obviously, and I use this for a reason, not really. Nah, well, anyway, it's the controller of our world. <laughs> yod heh vav Yahweh, Yahweh, however many people pronounce it, you know, with a, a clear conscience. This is God. This is the one. This is Hashem. This is... Adonai Tzavaot. Okay? Now, also we have here, we have Yeshua, a vessel. We also have a vessel which was an angel, which we'll get into who is who and why I use the same color cups on both, as well as everything else goes in the picture. Okay? So now here we go. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. Back in. Okay, now here's the full picture. We have Adam, Abraham, Moshe Rabbeinu. And in the Brit Hadashah, we have mankind illustrated as a stack of cups. These are all the men, of course. Okay? So, so from the very beginning, we have God. Okay? Here's how God appeared to all of these people, including all of these people. In the beginning, he appeared to Adam as himself. He walked with Adam, and he talked with Adam. Okay, you've heard plenty of good jokes between Adam and God. Really good. It's cool. Okay, God talked with Adam. Abraham shows up on the scene, but God didn't reveal himself to him the same way. He revealed himself to Abraham this way, in a vessel. So here's what you had. So there's the quick summary of the story of Abraham. Sorry, this shouldn't be in here just yet. <clears throat> okay. Now, it's time for Moses to show up on the scene. So with Moses on the scene, here's what happens. There was no vessel, just like there was with, with Adam. He appeared to Moshe Rabbeinu the same way he did with Adam, basically. He walked with him and talked with him. He never saw his face, but he walked with him and talked with him, just as a friend talks to another friend. Okay? Brit of the Shah comes around, the New Testament, the renewed testament, pardon me. And there's another vessel. Okay? It wasn't this particular vessel, which would have been here. It was a different vessel. Okay? And the reason why there was no man intervention specifically was so that no one could reject the fact that it was part of God's plan. It wasn't just a normally delivered child. <coughs> so God appeared just the same way he did to Abraham in the vessel. The same God, not three gods, not four gods, not two gods. One God, Adonai Echad. That's the big controversy with Judaism today. They reject Yeshua because they say there cannot be two or three gods. There's no such thing as a trinity. And in essence, they're right. And here's how to explain it. If you want to reach the Jewish people, you have to understand exactly who Yeshua, whoops, Yeshua was. Okay, he was a vessel that our Father used, just like he did with the angel, and presented himself to mankind in the vessel. Yeshua said, "Why do you call me good? There is none good but one, and that is the Father." Okay, it's because the people they were not talking directly to God. Why would God say something silly like that? Why do you call me good? There's only one good. Well, it's because Yeho God himself, Yahweh, Yahweh, he himself is good. So he would not say, why do you call me good? 
He said, why do you call me good? He's just the vessel. Understand the distinction between the two. Okay? This is what we had dealing with. There were times when Yeshua himself, himself was speaking. There are times when the Father spoke through him. Likewise with Moshe Rabbeinu. Okay? So, God showed up on the scene using Yeshua as a vessel, okay, who said that he himself is not good. So how could he possibly be the Father? How could Jesus possibly be God when he himself declared himself to be not good? Also note that Yeshua throughout the entire New Testament, he never claimed to be God. He only claimed to be a son of God or the son of God. But he also claimed that we were also sons of God and he compared himself to us as brothers, not as a deity. You know, of course, he used the metaphor as a bride as well, but not as God himself. Okay, So now, how is it possible that Yeshua said in John 8.58, Yeshua said, in John 8.58, that before Abraham was, I was. It's because it wasn't Yeshua speaking at the time. It was God speaking through Yeshua. I was before Abraham. Not I was before Abraham. I was before Abraham. Picture this. I was before Abraham, not here, not here, or like this, shall I say, like this. And check this out, this is kind of cool. The process was, he appeared to Abraham directly. I'm sorry, Adam. He appeared to Adam directly. He skipped Abraham. He appeared, but not as God himself. He appeared to Moses. He skipped mankind. When he returns, he will appear as the Almighty God himself. Shalom.